Hello everyone, welcome back to another model video. I am Rick Arter and today I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about black washing. Now there's several ways to do this. The easiest way, which is the way that I do right now, is just using some black acrylic paint. This is just some tester stuff here. You can use Tamiya or any other acrylic paint. You can also use oils and you know they have various different types of washes and stuff that you can add depending on what you're doing. I'm just doing a grill and some wheels, so just a standard black wash here with thin down acrylic black paint will work perfectly fine and you want to use a flat paint because you know dirt and grime usually is more flat and you're you're also using this to fill in recesses and stuff like that as with these wheels here you can see the just the regular painted ones doesn't really look too realistic and that's basically because in real life those little uh, moon sh half moon shaped uh, indentations there are actually holes so when you give it this black wash, it adds that detail of giving the depth and perception that there's actually holes going through there. Because most of the time you're going to have breaks and stuff on the back here, so you're not really going to see through it anyway. So it saves you the time of drilling them out and everything. Now, if you have larger holes, it is easier just to drill them out and you're good to go. However, you could do the black wash on that as well, depending on what your application is. But, like I said on this one, I'm just using some thin down black acrylic paint. And for some reason this black doesn't quite look as black as it should look. This is some old paint and it's quite thinned down. This is actually what I was using uh, last night. I had it in another video that I made. Basically as you can see here I've gone over this once or twice and I still need to do a little bit of cleanup on the outside uh, shell and then this split part here because that part's actually still going to be chrome. But being that you're using acrylic paint it's a lot more forgiving than say uh, enamel or something of that nature. So what you want to do, and you can use a brush for this, I'm just using uh, one of these these are micro brushes here and that's what I'm using to do this. I am going to use this brush here and I'm going to use that for doing the wheels from now on because I think it will work quite a bit better than this. This just doesn't hold quite enough paint to do that but it's perfect for doing the grill and it almost makes it to where there's really not much cleanup that I need to do. It just fills in the recesses and I think the, my problem might be here is that this is really old paint so it's not quite working like it should but it'll give you the idea of what it's going to look like and once this dries and everything it, it really looks pretty good and it's not even done yet I like how it's it's filling in some areas quite a bit in other areas it's a little lighter to give it more of a realistic uh, daily driver kind of look and I will leave some of the uh, dirtiness kind of on the actual slats here in the middle itself and possibly a few other places because this is going on a shop truck and so it's supposed to look like it's being worked on driven around stuff like that so that's about all there is to it there are a lot more videos out there from several different people covering um, different types of washes even with the acrylics so if you guys want more information uh, this is about as far as I've gone so this is about as much information as I can give you but I will try to, if I remember, put some links in the description to different videos on YouTube showing how to do oil washes and just different kinds of weathering and stuff like that. I know Dr. Cranky and there's uh, quite a few other people. I mean, there's a lot of people, especially the military guys, they're really good with pin washes, uh, just different types of things to add depth and realism to your model. So hope you all enjoyed. That concludes this video on the basics of black washing with acrylic paints. It's quite simple to do and it can add a lot of realism to your model in a short amount of time. If you have any more questions, like I said, please leave a comment below or you can send me a personal message and I'll try to add some links in the description box regarding some of this information. You guys all have a great day and lots more videos to come.